In this video, we'll see how do we export objects from UFT to the XML file and also we'll see how do we import objects from XML file to HP UFT. So you can see here, I've created a file, a test named as objects export to XML. And now what I'll do is I'll go to this resources object repository manager. So in this place, I have no objects right now since it is a blank file. I'll just click on this file open. Okay, I'll open any TSR file that is test shared repository. I'll just go to next. Yeah, you see there are some few TSR files. I'll click on search flights objects.tsr, click on OK. Okay, so I've already got all the objects into my object repository manager. Now very simple method. If you want to export the objects to XML file is go to file menu bar, click on export to XML. Okay, and you select the location where you want this XML file. So right now I'll say I want the location as on the desktop. Okay, on the desktop I have and if you see repository is the name, if you want you can change the name of the file and it is XML files, I'll click on OK. When I click on OK, it says the number of objects it has exported, that is 11, number of checkpoint and output objects 0 and number of parameters 0, metadata is 0. So only 11 objects have been exported, I'll just click on OK. Okay, now I'll go to the desktop. Okay, if you see on the desktop, this repository file which is created, it's a XML file. If I just double click on that, you see these are the description of the object which are given. Okay, and the properties and the values, everything is given here, right? So this is how you can export. It's very, very simple here. But now if I want to export the same XML file into my object repository or the object resource manager, how do I get it? So for that, what you have to do is you have to go to UFT. Now I'll, I'll go to this UFT and uh, I'll go to this resources object repository manager and I'll go to this file and if you see this option import from XML. So I'll click on this import from XML and the same XML file I'll try to import in the UFT. Click on OK. Again it says number of test objects which I'm importing are how many? 11 objects. Number of checkpoint 0, metadata 0 and there's one more number of parameters 0. So I'll just click on OK. Right. So if you observe here, all the objects, 11 objects have been imported. If you want to modify the properties values, you can just double click and you can change it. Right. So I'll just close it. So I hope you're able to understand. You're able to understand how do we import and export the objects from the UFT into XML files. That's all for this video.